to Grateful Kids. Today we're going to be learning about pottery with the pottery wheel. Since we're new at this, we're just going to learn the basics. Yeah. Yeah. So let's get started. We're heading over to Valley Pottery in Wasilla, Alaska so that we can show you how to make pottery on a pottery wheel. Thanks to Valley Pottery for letting us use their pottery wheels. This is a pottery wheel. And to set up a pottery wheel, you want to have a bat. See the holes right here? You just set it on top of your pottery wheel. You have your foot pedal. This will control how fast your wheel moves. Okay, so you have to get used to how fast you're pushing and get control that way. This is a splash guard. This is going to keep all the splashing of this clay off of you. Not all of it, but some of it. You want to grab some tools. You want a bucket of water. You want to grab a piece of clay and form it into a ball like this. When you sit down, you want to straddle the pottery wheel like this. And then I like to get comfortable with the stool, push it back, push it forward, and then you want to rest your elbows on your legs like this. Okay, so you're gonna take your clay, your circle clay, and you're gonna slam it right in the middle of your bat. So you just take your arm and go flat, like that. Okay, be aggressive. Then you want to grab your sponge and add some water to your circle right here. I like to add it to my hands too. I'm in a good position. And then I start, right, and I'll notice my hands. Now what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to make sure that it's centered, so I'm kind of pushing a little bit. See how it's wobbly like that? That means it's not centered. And you want to keep your hands wet, because if they get sticky, then it'll really pull your clay around. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make what's called a cone, and I'm going to push with this hand, and then pull up with this hand. So this one's going to push, and this one, make sure that I don't push it too far this way. And then I just lift, just ever so slightly, going up. You see why it's called a cone? And this takes a lot of practice. So today we're going to just practice making cones because that's the first thing that you need to know how to do. Thank you Matthew at Valley Pottery for demonstrating how to make pottery for us. And uh, this looks like about two and a half, three pounds of clay. Is she going to make the tear thing? Sure, I can make one of those teardrop things. I'll make a smaller one. Uh, so putting it down in the middle and then with some quick magic touches, coning it up, and then coming back down and centering the clay. So the goal of the centering is just having the two hands work together to uh, kind of give the piece a massage on the shoulder which is a tongue twister for me, unfortunately. But, so, you know, just kind of moving it so that the clay gets more and more centered by moving the clay but holding it still at the same time. And there's a lot of quiet finesse in the hands working together uh, to get the clay centered. And after we're done with that, come in and open up the clay. And this, uh, from centering everything happened over on the left hand side and now everything else really happens over here on the right hand side. So opening it down and uh, normally with like a cylinder we want kind of a flat bottom but I've got the request to make one of my teardrops which has more of a rounded bottom so I end up Opening it a little bit differently, so it's a rounded opening. Uh, it's still coming back. Nice smooth middle. And then we get to some of this cheating step of pulling everything back in. And then the real magical step of pulling. And what I'm trying to do is get my 
my outside hand kind of hooked underneath so I can lift and pull the clay up. And I actually kind of like to call it lifting the clay and slowing the wheel down and getting the clay moving upward, gently up. And most of the work, most of my focus is on the outside fingertip um, as I get to the top and kind of easing up the pressure. I have to keep everything really smooth so that my hands can flow past the clay, so adding a little bit of water. And then starting all the way at the bottom, creating a little bit of a notch so that I've got something to grab onto. And then lifting that clay upward and inward. There's a real tendency for the clay to want to fly out, so we have to kind of constantly work to keep it back inward. So I normally do three pulls. So that was the second pull. <laughs> dogs playing. Look <laughs> at all the crazy about the dogs. So he stays. So very, very cool. And I do a lot of cheating. Uh, so like on this one, I'm actually doing a lot more of my lifting from the inside. And the outside hand switches around. There really isn't a right or wrong way to do any of these steps. So. After we're done pulling, we pretty much have the, the final, the maximum height that we can get out of the piece. And uh, then we'll start shaping it. First, take away some of this extra clay. Okay. Notice how he uses that tool. So that's the uh, wooden knife, as they call it. Just and then, because I'm OCD, I have to clean up do that. Makes it nice and bright again. And then I like I just like using this tool, this particular rib. So I start using a rib instead of my fingers to smooth things out. Um, and I'm gently pressing with the inside hand, and I'm controlling it out with the outside hand to create my shape. Uh, these pieces do get trimmed, so I, after a day or two of letting them sit, they get turned upside down and I cut away the extra play for them. So right now on the wheel I'm not going to worry about that ragged bottom because it'll get cleaned up. And to actually make this cone, I have to collar the piece in, which is kind of like making a bottle and then to collar it in. The clay gets a little bit thicker so I can come back and I do another Super relaxing. I remember. Finish that up. Pop it Leave the top 
also kind of squiggling around um, because it's easier to cut that off again on the next day. Highly functional piece that I will save yeah. by taking it off on the back and just putting it aside. Cool. And, uh, so, what he Those are the ones that he just made. Cool. Thanks for creating with us. Make sure to hit the subscribe button below if you had fun. Or it's maybe a talk. Um, I think the subscribe button is right. Here. <laughs> Mommy, show it on the face. I think it's right here. <laughs>